Next up, we have author Michelle Huff Hoffman, who wrote Life Worth Living, a practical and compassionate guide to navigating widowhood and solo parenting. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Amari. So tell us about Life Worth Living. Life Worth Living started when I got the shocking news that a friend of mine died. Hmm. Like everyone else in the community, I felt as though there was nothing I could do. In fact, I knew exactly what to do okay. because I have been through it, hmm. because I lost my husband. So I intimately understand the tragic loss of a loved one. I went to his widow, I held her, I said, it's never going to be okay, and I'm going to hold your hand and walk this journey with you. Mm -hmm. And I led her from being a partner to the head of household mm -hmm. and from being a co-parent to a sole parent. Wow. So it sounds like you kind of helped her to like project manage all the things she needed to mm -hmm. handle once she lost her husband. I, I know that that must have felt like a huge comfort. Like, Tell me about her experience after that. Like, What did she say to you? Well, that's exactly what I had added to that, was let's project manage this mm. thing. I believe that becoming a widow is a very specific set of circumstances, mm -hmm. and there's not been a guide for this before. Hmm. And so I have stepped up because people have come to me asking for the similar guidance of how do we project manage this thing? Yeah. How do we ensure that we have compassionate advocates for the children and that we aren't suffering and feeling years of grieving mm -hmm. and loss and crying and feeling like we're not enough yeah. for to be the parent that our children need. Mm -hmm. And so life worth living is the tools and the guide. And I would walk this journey with you. Wow. So how would you advise someone who just lost a partner um, on dealing with that grief and moving forward? Like, what would be the first thing you would mm. recommend to them? Moving through grief is very ambiguous, and it's a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. From my experience, grief was making it difficult to drive through the tears. Mm. Everything was blurry. It, grief slams your head against the wall, throws you down to the kitchen floor, and puts its foot on your neck, mm. and you can't see your future. But when you're ready, to live life again happy, and you feel compelled to take control of your life, then it's time to build the relationship with grief so that you're in charge of that relationship. Mm -hmm. And people don't want to give up grief because grief holds something so very dear to them. Wow. And so changing your relationship to a more positive one so that grief supports you mm -hmm. as you move forward to live a full and happy life and support the success trajectories for your children is the advice that I would give them. And I'm here to do that because when you're the only one there to take care of everyone and everything, mm -hmm. it's really, really important to have a guide who will hold your hand and walk the journey with you. Absolutely. Um, when you were writing the book, you know, there are so many things that we experience in life, right? And just like your readers who are having to handle all the different details and all the different happenings of life and coordinating all the things, did you ever experience a time during the book process where you had so many different things going on and you had to figure out how you were going to get the book done? Like, what was that like for you? Well, that's exactly what was happening when I learned about the author's incubator. Hmm. I could have gone back and added the many credentials and degrees to my existing ones. And in reality, what I needed to create a legacy to mm -hmm. help others who walk this journey is a precision tool for the job. The author's incubator is a precision tool to get the book written. Hmm. So that was it for you. You were like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hire my own project manager to help me exactly. get this book done. Subject wow. matter experts, advisors and people who know what they're doing to guide you on that path. Mm. Oh, that, that's a great perspective. Like, when we're sick, we go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. When we want to figure out how to make our money grow, we go to an investor, right? When we want to lose weight, we go to a fitness coach. When you want to write a book, why not go to someone who can help you get the book written, right? It and makes you, a lot of sense. And when you're ready to remember that you're going to live a life worth living, you hire a guide 
so that they can help walk the journey through with you. Absolutely. And again, that book, Life Worth Living, if you know someone who needs this, make sure you download it now and send it to them. Again, Life Worth Living by Michelle Hoffman. Congratulations, Michelle. Thank you, Amari.